Hi everyone. Earlier today I had published a, a video that was uh, around using R and Google Charts together to create beautiful uh, motion charts and various other visualizations. Uh, immediately after a friend of mine um, uh, messaged me about a link uh, where we could um, essentially um, access the data that Hans Rosling used in uh, his TED video um, and recreate that experience but uh, with R and uh, Google this. So I wanted to take the opportunity to do a quick video and share that insight with you. Uh, so what is it that we need to get started? So first off, uh, if you've uh, not already seen um, Han's uh, video on TED or uh, over YouTube uh, earlier, I strongly recommend that you do. Um, it's, uh, it's a great video that showcases uh, storytelling, uh, data science and uh, visual uh, analytics if you will um, and mesmerizing in terms of uh, the insights that it provides. So that's uh, the TED uh, talk. Um, again, it's um, received well over 10 million views uh, and highly recommend that you take a look at that. Uh, but uh, one of the things that, or two of the things that uh, Hans had at his uh, disposal was uh, number one was data and number two was a great visualization to and of course uh, you know uh, credit to himself of his uh, storytelling capabilities uh, so what we are going to do is um, uh, take a look at some resources uh, and uh, this is the link uh, a buddy of mine uh, sent um, a blog to this chap here who's uh, one of the co-authors as I understand of uh, the Google list package um, and um, basically what I'm doing is uh, pretty much um, uh, using the code from his blog so kudos to this guy uh, the code what I'm showing you is not mine I'm just uh, recreating uh, that experience using his code um, so we are going to be using a couple of packages uh, so Hans uh, had uh, with him the access to uh, the data the population data uh, which is now available in this uh, new package um, WB stats, so that's recently um, announced, and I've just copy pasted that entire code base here. And um, uh, of course, the uh, the other library that we are going to be using is the Google this. Um, so again, you can head over to uh, just do a quick Google search and do Google this. Uh, you should find this or take a look at one of my earlier videos. So in summary, we are using two main packages. That's the Google this for the visualization. Uh, and then finally the uh, World Bank uh, data stats so um, it gives us the population and related data uh, so that's the background and context so uh, to fire things away so I've pretty much taken that entire code base so uh, nothing too fancy it's retrieving the data um, cleansing it a bit or reshaping it so that it gives uh, um, you know very, uh, a structured data table uh, doing some cleansing there and finally um, you know, calling the Google this uh, API here. So let's just run the code as is. So I'm going through this really quickly because you can of course uh, uh, get the code from uh, the blog page. Right. So it's waiting for the page to load. All right, here we are. So uh, here's where stuff starts getting interesting. So this is pretty much uh, uh, a replica if you will uh, or a smaller subset of uh, the data that Hans had uh, so through m the power of motion charts and Google this we can actually uh, see visually see uh, the data if you will and it really brings uh, things into uh, context so here we, are, we have life expectancy uh, number of years that an individual can live for or is living based on uh, capture statistics and uh, the fertility rate Think, I believe it's for women how many um, children uh, they have so one of the insights that uh, Hans presented was that um, as um, as we progress through time um, there's uh, 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 people have less children or families um, are much smaller and also as a result they tend to have a much longer life expectancy uh, so here you can see in the visualization there and uh, really beautiful it really brings uh, uh, that uh, data to life if you will um, so this is just one of the ways that we can slice the data uh, we can of course um, like let's just say for example if we wanted to highlight any one uh, country so let's see oh, that's interesting Japan okay so if we play it back 
Yeah. Okay. So Japan again, it's uh, possibly not the best example since a uh, huge life expectancy from uh, the very beginning. So let's uh, highlight these and now we can actually see that trend if you will. So we can uh, use uh, Google this uh, to kind of like uh, do some visual uh, analytics there. Uh, or if we wanted to just uh, focus in on a particular um, region, so I, by clicking on it, let me get rid of that. So here we can actually see, uh, okay, let me start again. So yeah, the other option is just uh, highlight it and remove the trails. So you can see it um, really brings it to life. Uh, and again, there are a couple of different ways that we could uh, slice the data, uh, maybe by population. Uh, let's try that again. So again, uh, it's a very different insight here. Um, we can uh, see okay, India, China, Brazil, Indonesia, Japan. Uh, again, really insightful. Uh, so I let you play with uh, the data again. So uh, once again, it's uh, it's uh, this blog here, and um, you should be able to pretty much use the code as is. I did not have to make any uh, changes. So. So uh, with uh, great tools, uh, good data, and uh, help from the community, I think we, we can also become great uh, storytellers like Hans uh, and uh, you know, bring that um, uh, story to life, if you will, with great insights. Thanks everyone for watching. See you on the next video. Thanks.